everybody, I'm just popping in to do this rather random intro because I started editing the video and realised that none of it made sense. It started off being a testing new stuff sort of video, um, but it was about 40 minutes long and the bulk of it was trying out the new Chanel uh, La Rouge collection number one. So I'm sort of chopping out the other bits maybe and just making it into a video about that. So I thought I'd explain it in case it looks a bit weird. It's not a sponsored video or anything like that. It's just that it was the bulk of the new stuff that I was trying and it just seems a bit mad to try and fit in everything else that I was looking at. So I'll probably film another video with the other stuff in that it's now missing, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's get on with it because I've waffled too much already. This is why I end up with 40 minutes a film. Anyway, I'm going to go back and edit now. I'm now going to, for my next trick, just try um, some of the products from the new Chanel Le Rouge number no. one collection, uh, which is very, very interesting. On my nails, I have, this is just the best thing ever, it's the new nail gloss from Chanel. And it's sort of like painting your nails with a really amazing, almost opaque jelly. So you get this gel shine, um, slightly transparent so it's got that gorgeous sort of jelly effect but loads and loads of colour. They've just got it in one shade at the moment, Rouge Radical and I've got a feeling this is going to be limited edition but it's lovely. Now look, this is the palette, look at that. All matte, really beautiful warm browns. This is for autumn but it's already out but I think great for summer as well. Um, and then it's got this really quite reddish colour here which makes sense because it's La Rouge. So, you know, it's gonna have a red in there somewhere. So I thought I'd just have a little play with these, really. There's also one of these um, great sort of bouncy foam shadows. I don't know whether you've seen these before. This for me is sort of a different kettle of fish um, because it's quite dark. And so if I test that one out, I don't know what's gonna happen with this palette. It might just disappear. So I'm going to go in with this first and just see how it looks. So taking the palest shade, which actually isn't that pale, is it? Look, oh, do you know, I know lots of people always say, oh, you can get, actually, I'm going to go for the second palest because I'm not going to have too many colours on my eyes with this. Some people say, oh, you know, you only get a tiny bit and there are Shadows that are just as good, but a tenth of the price. I really don't know whether there are. I mean, I, I find Chanel shadows really easy to use, very beautiful to blend. And um, the colours are always really, really just spot on. Now, you have to excuse me because I've got loads of different brushes that I'm not familiar with now. Deluxe crease brush, this is what I was looking for. This is a Real Techniques one. I haven't used this in ages. I'm going to take some of the red and see how I get on with this. So I'm not sure how red, oh that's lovely. So really look, this is, it's not red like scary red, it's like a brick colour. So I'm just taking that to the outside and it actually does liven up the eyes quite a lot. I think probably especially if you've got blue eyes. So I always find really reddish toned shadows brilliant for blue eyes. Sort of those very red bronzes. Oh look at that, I really like that. Oh, you know what I am going to use? The um, long lasting eyeliner that comes with this collection, it's called Eros. You see that? Colour on the end. And this is a really nice reddish brown. Oh, I like you. Oh, the texture of that eye pencil is amazing. In fact, I'm going to smudge a little bit under the lower lash line. That is so beautiful. I 
haven't got a clue what that brush is. I'll tell you in a second. I've just winged it out slightly to give my eye more of a cat shape. I like that so much. I was really worried that this would look a bit myxomatosis, this red, but it's more of a sort of purpley, Le Rouge Noir kind of red. I'm just going to smudge a bit of brown shadow under there as well. Just keep things nice and soft and smoky. Now there is a mascara that goes with this collection, but it's not one of the ones that I really like. It's um, the Dimensions mascara. And I sort of, I prefer the Volume de Chanel. I just realised my head's cropped at a really, my neck's cropped at a really bad angle. Um, so I'm going to use the um, Bourgeois Volume Reveal. This is the waterproof one, which I haven't tried before actually, but this is the one that's got the mirror on the side and I find it really, really um, easy to use. I love this mirror. I think it's a great idea. I actually have quite bad eyesight, so I always find doing my mascara a bit of a trauma. I'd normally do something like this with a nude lip, but let's see how this looks with a red lip, which is how it's sort of intended. Now normally I would plump for the brightest, most orangey red, which in this case would be uh, le feu, rouge feu. However, I can go out of my comfort zone and go for the one that I actually think um, goes with the whole Le Rouge collection look the best, which is uh, Rouge Charnel number 56, which is slightly brickier and deeper than I'd normally wear. Actually, that's a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. I like that. What I quite like about this is that it sort of takes the attention away from the eyes a little bit, draws the focus away. What do you think? Would you wear all red? I actually rather like it. I mean, I think that I would not wear it with a red lip. Just for your information, FYI, seeing that this is just turning into a massive review of the Chanel collection anyway, the two other colours are Rouge Actually, there must be more than four lip colours, but the two others I have are number 59, which is Rouge Audace, which is quite a deep um, reddish brown. It's brown with a touch of red. And then I have Rouge Tentation, which is 169. Again, deep um, kind of bricky red gorgeous actually. It's very chic. Those colours tend to make me look dead so I steer clear but perhaps one day I should go out of my comfort zone. And then the one that I showed you before which is Rouge Feu which is a much lighter very very summery gorgeous orangey red. I might swatch these um, on my website so keep a look out for those. But for now, I'm going to go because I'm just, this has been the biggest rambly video ever. But I do feel like I've sort of broken the back of videoing in my studio, which is good. Even though I've cropped my head at a really weird angle and it looks like I don't have a body. So thanks for watching and putting up with me. And um, I'm going to go and film another thing now because I feel like I'm on a roll. Um, and hopefully you'll see some of my shoulders. Okay, see you next time. Bye.